ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर सेफ एंड हेल्दी आई नो वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन इन द वर्ल्ड इज अफेक्टिंग यू एज मच एज इट इज अफेक्टिंग मी शॉप्स आर क्लोज स्ट्रीट्स आर एम टी एंड एवरी थिंग इज जस्ट स्ट्रेटली डिस्टर्ब ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम वेन वी आर ऑल गोइंग डाउन दिस स्पायरल ऑफ डार्कनेस वी हैव अ लॉड ऑफ स्पेयर टाइम सो लेट एस ट्राई टू सी सम लाइट इन दिस डार्कनेस एंड यूज आर स्पेयर टाइम टू डू समथिंग अर प्रोडक्टिव विथ ऑल दिस स्पेयर टाइम वाई डोंट यू स्पेंड टाइम with me doing which we will learn this web scraping framework called scrapi and use it to do something cool in this scrapi tutorial now first of all what is web scraping so i have this amazon web page opened up over here now you can see that there are all lot of items on this web page and by a lot i mean a lot now suppose you want to get some data from amazon to do some data visualization obviously you want go around copying titles prices and other products and referencing them by hand you will perform some automation this automation for extracting data from different web pages is called web scraping now the scripts which perform this kind of automation are called web crawlers or spiders web scraping is very widely used in fact these i am not a robot check check boxes that you see all around the web are actually there to prevent web scraping and the bot automation or bot activity captchas serve the exact same purpose because captchas are easily read by humans but they are not as easy to read for bots now the other cool fact is that almost all websites have a file called robots.txt now i have opened up the robots.txt as you can see here for the amazon.com website now i know what you are saying this is amazon.in and this is amazon.com but leave it at that now This robots.txt file contains all the routes and web pages that a spider is allowed to crawl or not allowed to crawl. Now there are some tricks to not follow this but we will talk about it later in detail. Okay, but how does it work? How does a web spider work? You ask. Well, spiders can either get the html data from a web page or in interact with the web page. While extracting data, what happens is that the spider requests the html data from the url. when it gets the data it extracts the data using different kinds of selectors and x paths and html elements now for example on this web page we wanted this title for all the products so let me open up my console real quick okay console okay so here it is now let me select this title so here i have it selected so so if a bot was to crawl this web page and extract data so to look for a title it will extract data from this html element maybe it will use some kind of css class selector or an xpath now what are class selectors and xpaths now for this you should have a understanding of html but even if you don't i will explain this in detail in later videos okay after it gets the selector it will just extract the data and store it somewhere now to keep the video short i'm not going to talk about how the interaction stuff works usually that is done using python module called Sel selenium now i've been talking about scrapi but i haven't ex actually explained what is scrapi well scrapi is a full fledged web scraping framework that allows you to organize your spiders and your scraped data in a nice and neat manner it has a ton of different features which you can mess around to create a spider most efficient for your need now for a brief look at what it feels like what scrapi is like i have this project opened up here now i've created it to scrape amazon.com for any search term so for example i have a search term called gaming laptop over here so if i run this what it will do is it will get all the prices all the titles and everything from amazon.com and store it in a file called products.json now after it, it has done running up you can see that we have a file called a products.json now if i open it you can see that we have a messed up data over here but actually if i just do this you can see that it is not messed up at all we have a json data and we have the title and if i go there we have the price the price is null as of now because i think amazon is just not letting me crawl but if i wanted i could have used proxies i haven't done that so you can see that we have the images and you can see that we have all the data 
so this is not actually all the things you can do with scraper there's actually a lot of things you can do with scraper and it is actually not limited to storing data in a file you can store data in a database you can store in a csv file like xml file or kind of things you can think of now i won't cover any everything you can do with this framework not by any means but you will still have a pretty good idea and understanding about this framework and how to use it now for the prerequisites you should have a basic understanding of what is html as i said earlier but even if you don't don't worry about it too much because i will explain everything you should not know that this is not a basics of python tutorial and therefore i'm not gonna teach basic python syntax it would be good if you install pycharm but even if you don't it's not a big deal what editors and ids so if you wanna follow along don't forget to subscribe and support me by destroying that like button also share this tutorial with your friends who might be looking to scrape data from the web Shout out to some people, Tomnath Sardar, Pritish Mishra and Meda San. And as always, thank you for watching.